Bisharp is very solid anti-meta in the open ultra league. It's able to take out big meta players such as Cresselia, Giratina, Articuno, and Alola Muck. You do have to keep it away from fighting types though because of his steel dark typing. It's double weak uh, against fighting. It also struggles with Charmers and Swampert. So some pretty bad weaknesses, but I think if you can uh, support it appropriately, it can definitely do a, a bunch of work uh, in the meta. Uh, today I'll be showcasing two teams with it. Uh, the first one is already on the screen. It's Bisharp, Armored Mewtwo and Cresselia. Uh, I think, uh, as I said, his main weaknesses are Charmers, Swampert and Fighters. And Armored Mewtwo and Cresselia can both deal uh, with all three of those. In this case, I'm running uh, Armored Mewtwo as a safe swap to hopefully lure out a, a Steel type or a, a or a Dark type, and he can he can hit those with Dynamic Punch. And once it's out of the way, hopefully Cresselia and Bisharp can uh, can take over and sweep. Uh, that's the whole idea. I'll I'll spoil it right now. This first set didn't go that well, but after this, we're gonna go into uh, another team which worked a, a lot uh, better. But you, you you'll see that one later. Also, I'm running uh, Snarl, Dark Pulse, and Focus Blast on my Bisharp. Another option is uh, Iron Head on Bisharp. Iron Head gives you some coverage against the Charmers, and also some neutral damage versus Pokemon like Alola Muck, or super effective damage, easy super effective damage, uh, of cheaper super effective damage, I should say, versus something like Abomas Snow. Uh, but I like Focus Blast just for the nuke against the Steel types. Uh, and uh, I do end up hitting a couple, so that's uh, always fun. Uh, as you could see just there, I just took out a Giratina with a Bisharp, and that's always nice. Uh, this Melmetal matchup is not great, though. I do have two shoots left, and I think at this moment in time, I'm, I'm just gonna let it go and hope Cresselia can take over. Uh, this Melmetal was already loaded. And if I wanted to kill this Melmetal with my Bisharp, I would have needed to expand two shields. And that's never uh, a great idea, though, in hindsight, you know, a lot of teams have Cresselia in the back. So, if there is a Cresselia in this team, then keeping my Bisharp alive, even at low HP, would have been huge. Because then I would have had my Cresselia left. Uh, with with like full health versus their Cresselia. There, there it is. There's the opposing Cresselia. Yeah, this was my first battle. And, and looking back at, back at it, I should have expected this. I should have just expanded both shields from my Bisharp, taken out the Melmetal, and then I'd had a full health Cresselia versus Cresselia and a little bit of health on Bisharp. And that should pretty much give me the win. All right, good lead. Bisharp into Drift Blim. This is real good. Uh, Dark Pulls will probably, uh, probably KO. Uh, but like a Shadow Ball would probably still do a bunch. The Icy Winds, uh, luckily they didn't do that much. It brings in Swampert. Interesting. I really don't have, I don't have a, like a really solid response to Swampert. But I have two bonds that can definitely deal with it. Though Shadow Swampert uh, does put up a very strong fight versus Cresselia. Especially since I don't have Grass Knot. This is a tough matchup. I'm just gonna keep uh, firing Moonblast right here. I need to take this out because my Bisharp uh, really doesn't want to see this. He's deep, but he shoots. Gonna go for more Hydro Cannons on my uh, 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 Crusader. I'm actually gonna have to shoot right here. Uh, which is unfortunate. I really want to keep shoots for Bisharp. Because a Bisharp without shoots not that great. He pulls off, almost pulls off a sack swap. But I'm gonna throw these moves anyway. My switch time is misaligned. So, and also, uh, Dark Balls wouldn't kill yet. Uh, from this range, so I just want to keep Moonblasting, bring him into Dark Pulse range, and then I'll uh, I'll probably let my Cresselia go. I mean, I still have Mewtwo in the back. I don't really need to save my uh, Cresselia for anything because uh, Mewtwo has uh, pretty much the same coverage. Uh, I take out my Cresselia. I bring in Bisharp, of course. I get off a dar or Dark Pulse. Moon uh, it doesn't kill. Moonblast still does like 40 to 50 percent. So I kind of got a shield, Bisharp. It's really, really, really squishy. He brings in a Swampert. Really good play. Had a move stored. I should have anticipated that and swapped into my Mewtwo a lot quicker. Uh, but uh, he made a really good call there. Uh, bringing in a Swampert. It's a good play by my opponent. I'm in a tough spot now. I got to farm this thing down. And then I got to hit two Rock Slides on the Drift Blim. And hope, 
a one of them KOs. I'm running Rock Slide on Mewtwo, by the way. I would advise if you run Armored Mewtwo to run Psy Strike instead of Rock Slide. I just don't have one built. And I didn't really want to make one. So that's why I'm running Rock Slide. I think it's I think it's still a decent move set. Yeah, I couldn't farm this down. I was hoping to farm this down, but one more Psycho Cut and I would have been done. So I just gotta hope this one Rock Slide KOs. Come on, Mewtwo. Come on, Mewtwo. No, that's a close match. That's well played by my opponent. Uh, Bisharp. A little bit too squishy in uh, for this one match. All right, another decent lead. Shadow Gyarados. Uh, I resist uh, Dragon Breath because of the Steel type, but I do have to watch out for the Aqua Tail because that will hit uh, very, very hard. So I'm definitely going to shield this. It's for an uh, Aqua Tail from a Shadow Gyarados. Uh, will, I think will kill me from that range. Again, I'm very, very squishy. Luckily, this Gyarados is also very squishy. This Dark Pulse will likely KO if he lets it go. But he shields. At this point, I'm going to swap it to Armored Mewtwo. I want to save shields. Seeing as he double shields his Gyarados, I'm also assuming there's going to be something weak against Bisharp in the back. So I'm just going to basically sa sacrifice my Armored Mewtwo right here. Uh, use him as a, as a meat shield. And uh, take out his Gyarados with it. Brings in Crest. That's weak to, that's weak to Bisharp. So... That's great. I'm happy he brings it in here because I can just spam these rock slides now. Uh, get him uh, or get him a bit uh, a bit lower. Bring him into, into Dark Pulse range, hopefully. Uh, I would need one more rock slide for that and he's just gonna kill me right there. Hopefully this move KOs. I don't want him to farm me down. It doesn't KO and he farms me down. Alright, that's kind of bad. He has a lot of energy right now. Luckily, I, I still have my Bisharp. I could have considered going to, into Cresselia right here to tank this move. Uh, but I also didn't want to switch lock my uh, my Bisharp. I over farm here. I thought I wanted to get out with a Dark Pulse, but it's uh, two, it's four Smudge Shots for a Weather Ball, and I threw three Snarls, and in that time, he can get a four Smudge Shots and a Weather Ball, so that's just bad play on my end. I should have over, I should have thrown two Snarls and then swapped out. Then I would have caught the Weather Ball on, on uh, Cresselia, and I might have been in a good spot. Uh, later, but now I'm up against uh, this point over my crest. Yeah, it's over. I would not have taken it out. All right, next game. A Bishar first guillotine. This is exactly what we want to see. Yeah, I, I had to quit out because the, all these ultra matches take so long. So I uh, I quit out out of respect for my opponent sometimes. But all right, this match, Bishar, the ultimate wall to uh, to Giratina. I resist all of his moves, all of his moves because of the dark steel typing. Uh, Dark Resist Ghost, of course, and Steel Resist uh, the Dragon and potentially Rock if he has Ancient Power. So these moves, but even though they're resisted, look at this Dragon Call, like it still does too much for a resisted move. Bisharp is so glassy. I'm actually going to shield this right here because I'm afraid. I'm, I want to farm down right here. And I'm afraid if I take that, that Dragon Pull or a Dragon Claw, I would not be able to farm down. He comes in with Lapras and here we go. Are we going to get the Focus Blast? Hell yeah. There we go. That's some good damage. That's, that's kind of why I ran Focus Blast. Mainly for Registeel. As you can see, my back line is also not that strong versus Registeel. So uh, the Focus Blast was mainly meant for Registeels uh, to nuke him in the late game. But hitting Lepers with it, with it, fine with me as well. That's awesome. In comes uh, Giratina once again. These Dragon Claws do nothing. So just farm him down. He brings in the Aboma Snow. Uh, I just go for the Rock Slides right here. Uh, chip him down. If he's chipped down enough, I can, like, this is already Dark Pulse range. So hopefully I can take a shield right here. Uh, and uh, we probably do, or, or we take him out. And if he shields, I'll just let my Mewtwo go. And then Bisharp can uh, can clean up, clean up the Aboma Snow. Yeah, we let this Mewtwo go. If this doesn't KO, I'll swap. Because I don't want him to farm me down. There we go. Uh, he throws another move. I'll shield this. And then I'll get to the Dark Pulse before he gets to another weather ball. I think he... He's already had another weather ball here, but his, his only play was farming down and hoping that my back bond was very weak to Obama Snow's charge moves. But uh, like I, I was able to get the Dark Ball, so that's a good game. All right, horrible lead. A fighter. That's why I have, I have two good answers in the back, though. So I have I do have an opportunity here. If I can take Switch, uh, I might be in a good spot. Uh, so I go into Mewtwo right here. Go into Charizard. That's not bad. You know, these Rock Slides. He's definitely going to have to tank these Rock Slides. Or he's going to have to shield this rock slide. If he tanks a rock slide, he dies. So he doesn't want to tank one. These Dragon Breaths from Charizard are doing more than my Confusions, though. And I'm very surprised about that. 
uh, throw another rock slide, he's gonna have to shoot again or lose switch. At this point, I could consider shooting, but I kind of want to farm this down. I kind of want to save a shoot for Bisharp. I'm afraid of what's in the back. If I save a shoot for Bisharp uh, and farm him down, I, I might be able to uh, focus Blast on a champ later. Yeah, I shoot the Blastman right here. Also, if I would shoot my armored Mewtwo there, he would have just gone into another another uh, move and I would have lost switch anyway. Yeah, he brings in the Registeel. That's game over. I just concede. It's game over. Next team, Cresselia Double Dark with Obsagoon as a kind of like a sacrificial swap. Hopefully lure out a Charmer, which I could potentially hit with a Gunk Shot then because I am running Gunk Shot. Or lure out a fighter, and if I uh, lure out a fighter, I can take it out with a Cresselia, and hopefully Bisharp can sweep. That's the whole idea. Let's see if it worked. All right, we lead Cresselia into Lapras. This is not bad. Cresselia should barely uh, win this matchup, even though I don't have Grass Knot. Cresselia is just a lot more bulky than Lapras, uh, so uh, this battle of the tanks usually goes to the bulkiest one, of course. Uh, and I think I take him. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to swap right there. I need to save my Cresselia for a potential fighter in the back. So if I don't lead into a fighter up front, I swap. That's the whole idea of this team. He looks like he doesn't have a fighter. He brings in the Swampert. This is A-OK -okay with me. Because Bisharp really doesn't want to see a Swampert. So we still uh, achieved our goal of luring out a potential Bisharp. Uh, counter in Swampert. Uh, that's really nice. I'm gonna shield here anyway. I have so much energy. I should have thrown that Night Slash before through the Hydro Cannon, but I, I underestimated underestimated the amount of energy he had. Uh, but now I can get of two Night Slashes. Uh, take one shield already. Is he gonna shield again or is he gonna let it go? I think he can just let it go and then uh, throw a move. But he's gonna shield. I think he's, he, he wants to farm down. I think. Oh no, he, he wants to save the Hydro. Then swap to Lepros, which is a really good play and also really annoying for me. Because that means that my Bisharp... I need to save a shield, basically. If I don't save a shield, my Bisharp is going to get Hydro Cannon in the late game. And, uh, like, Hydro Cannon does so much uh, on Bisharp because it's just so, so glassy. I just uh, uh, farm down this Lepros. Let's see what he uh, what he brings in. He probably... I'm guessing he is a better answer to Cresselia on the back. Armored Mewtwo. All right, I have to watch out for the dynamic punch right there. That would, of course, one-shot uh, my Bisharp. But luckily, I get to the Dark Pulse before he gets to the gets to the dynamic punch. And that does a bunch. That does a bunch. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to let my Bisharp go. Because, like, if he threw Hydro Cannon, I would have still survived. I would have gone to the, to the Dark Pulse. And if he Earthquaked, he would not get to a move first, my Cresselia. Right there, as you can see, my Cresselia was able to take it out. And now my Cresselia is also going to take out the Mewtwo. Even if this doesn't take out and a Mewtwo get, gets off a move, I have a shield. And the move wouldn't kill anyway. That's a good game. Our next match, Cresselia into Scavalier. Absolutely horrible. Scavalier basically takes out my whole team, being able to throw super effective Mega Horns at my Cresselia whilst resisting all the moves. And uh, it's double super effective counters versus both monsters in my backline. It's not great, but Scavalier is very glossy. Uh, the counters don't do that much for Cresselia. I can tank a Mega Horn just fine. So Cresselia actually does have some play here. Gonna go for two future sides, but we'll put him very low. Unfortunately, he gets to two Mega Horns before I get to two future sides. So I'm gonna have to shield this. I'm gonna go for future side and pray he doesn't shield. This will put him very low. This is basically counter down range for Obstagoon. I'm just gonna bring it in. Take him out. In comes Gyarados. Interesting. This is a decent matchup for Obstagoon. Uh, not amazing, but the Dragon Breaths don't do that much because they're non-stab. And the Night Slash is definitely, uh, definitely add up. Awkward Tail is not the strongest move, but it is coming for a Gyarados, so it will do a decent chunk. I'm just going to keep Night Slashing right here. Should get to a third one, which will put the Gyarados really, really low. Or he's going to have to shield... Uh, to uh, in order to preserve uh, the Gyarados. I'm really curious to see what he has in the back. Probably another water. Like, if I were to guess, it might be something like Swampert. Like, a Scavalier double water is a pretty common uh, lineup. Uh, let's just see, though. It's an Abomasnow. This should be decent. This is where I really want Iron Head. 
if I if I I had Iron Head, I would just I would just be able to double Iron Head here and take out La Bomba Snow. Now I'm gonna have to go for three Dark Pulses, or if he shoots the first Dark Pulse, a Dark Pulse and a Focus Blast. Uh, let's see what he does though. No shield, very good play by my opponent. I no shield the first Weather Ball. The only way he takes me out here if he gets of an Energy Ball, like he needs like a Weather Ball and an Energy Ball. Uh, and that's where I make a mistake right here. I shield this move. This could be an energy ball, and I was afraid he might energy ball, but it's a weather ball. It's a good bait. Uh, now, I'm just gonna have to outpace, but he gets to the energy ball, and this will KO. I should have no-shielded the move before, because that was quite obviously a bait. It was it was definitely gonna be a, uh, a, a, a weather ball, and I should have no-shielded that, because I knew the energy ball would, would KO. It is what it is, though. Well played by my opponent. Uh, close game, even though I had a very uh, bad lead. All right, this is a decent lead again. Uh, Lapras into uh, Cresselia. I'll just stay in right here. Uh, uh, throw one future sight and then swap to my goon uh, once again. Uh, that's. Uh, I think. I think that was. That's what I do. That's what I should do. Yeah, there we go. That's a good swap. In comes the Giratina, which is good for my uh, goon, and also tells me that he probably doesn't have a solid answer for Bisharp in the back. This is a Dragon Breath uh, Giratina though, which is decent against Obstagoon. I think it's a very close matchup. I am hitting for super effective with Night Slashes, but Night Slash is not that strong of a move, of course. And counters are resisted, so they do, or double resisted, so they do nothing versus Giratina. In the meantime, he's just Dragon Breathing me down. And Dragon Breath, of course, a very strong move. So it's doing, it's definitely outpacing me in terms of damage. Uh, I can get to a third nice slash right here. This will put the Giratina uh, very low, but I don't think I can counter him down just yet. Uh, no, definitely not. Gets very, very low there, though. I bring in the Crest to farm him down. Uh, let's see what he brings in right here. It's the Lapras again. Still really don't know what he has in the back. I think it might be his own Crest, though. If it was his own crest, he would have probably brought it in versus mine already. Could be anything at this point in the back. I'm going to swap it to Bisharp right now. It is his own Cresselia, which is really, really good. This is where, where I want my Bisharp. This is where he shines. Uh, this Dark Balls does so much damage. You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, I'm just going to no-shoot this. Uh, look at this Moonblast. It still does a bunch. Bisharp is just so glossy. But have you ever seen Bisharp or have you ever seen any Pokemon do this much damage to a Cresselia? I don't think you have. It's just awesome. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Alright, in comes the Lapras. I can definitely get to another Dark Pulse right here. So I'm just gonna shoot it, shoot it up. Uh, go for the Dark Pulse right here. And if you don't shoot, shoot KO. But he, of course, uses shield at this point. I'm gonna play it safe. I, I, I wasn't really keeping track of energy during this match, to be honest. Uh, so I wasn't sure where it was at. Uh, so I decided to go for the safe move. Just go to Crest, take him out, but he knows it's over. So he concedes GG to my opponent. All right, Mew lead. Bad for Cresselia, but luckily I have two answers in the back. I like, it could be any move set though. Uh, if it is like Flame Charge, Focus Blast, it could be a big problem for my back line. It could also be Dark Pulse, which is bad for Cresselia. We really don't know. Uh, maybe we'll find out later. In comes the Articudo. This matchup is not bad for Obsagoon. Obsagoon wins the zero shields, I'm pretty sure, just because uh, like the Articudo doesn't have much opportunity to debuff uh, in the beginning of the matchup. So I'm just going to keep throwing Night Slash right there. I don't plan on shielding. The Articudo is already so low, and especially now that I can just farm it down with Cresselia, or at this point, I think I take Switch with Obstagoon. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I take, just take Switch right there. He gives up Switch, though, again. Bring in his Lapras. I guess that's a decent play, because he was gonna... Uh, he was gonna lose Switch anyway. And I guess he didn't want to let me farm him down. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, he let me... So I want to save the Bisharp for the meal. Just bring in Cresselia right here, and I'm I'm looking very good right there, right here. I just have to bring this uh, Lepers really low to the point where my Bisharp can, uh, or take it uh, take it out, or take it very low to the point where Bisharp can sweep. Uh, basically, that's the whole game plan right now. The Articuno doesn't have any energy. Mew gets, depending on the move set, gets walled by Bisharp. But even if it's like Flame Charge or Surf, which is a quick move, or like Surf Focus Blast, I think it should be fine. Especially considering the 
the Lapras is now so low that I can pretty much farm it down. In comes the Mew. I'm just going to stay in with Gris Griselia. The Mew already has a bit of energy. I'm kind of worried about that. But we lag. Yeah, we started lagging. It's over. My whole idea was I'm just going to stay in. Throw Moonblast at the, at the Mew. Let him throw his energy. Then bring in Bisharp. If I if I get of two Moonblasts, he also has a shield, by the way. And if he doesn't, I could just farm down. I take a shield. So I'll probably take a shield. Throw the Dark Pulses. Game over. But the game lags. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. This is going on for way too long. I'll just skip this for a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Skip. Yep, yep, yep. And as you can see here, I get into the game. And the game is over. Very unfortunate. I would have definitely won this game. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm think yeah, I'm currently 2-2 two, two then. I want to go for the positive set. I want to go for the positive set with this team. So let's see if I, if we can pull it off. Did I skip? Did I not skip this queue? Come on. Come on. Whoa. All right, there we go. We we got we got the match. Oh, All right, that was some bad editing. That's fine. All right. Cresselia into Clefable. All right, this is exactly where I want to see the Clefable. He brings in his Cresselia. I bring in the Bisharp. This is looking good. This is looking real, real good. Depending on what he is in the back. Uh, hopefully, Obstagon can deal with it. Uh, Bisharp, of course, in his natural habitat versus the Cresselia. You love to see it. Uh, I'm just going for Dark Pulses right here, of course. Just getting them off as soon as possible uh, to take out the Crest before he can get to another Moonblast. Uh, is he gonna shield here? He does, which is really good for me. The Fable uh, put, puts up a really good fight versus Cresselia if he has two shields. But now that he's already used a shield, I'm very comfortable uh, taking out the Fable with my Cresselia. Uh, another Dark Boss. And he shields once again, which is just amazing for me. I'm very surprised that he is. I think he might not be used to Bisharp. I mean, no, pretty much no one uses Bisharp, so it might be the first Bisharp he's seen. Not really familiar with the matchup. Maybe he thought he was gonna outpace and, and be able to take me out, but no, that's not the case. Bisharp is just such a wall to, to Cress. Uh, and he brings in the Clefable right here. I, I have to go, go back into Cress. Uh, I think I could can take him out with a Moonblast and a Future Sight. So I'm gonna th I threw the Moonblast first, and now the Future Sight doesn't take him out though. But at this point, I can just farm it down, get a bunch of energy ready for whatever whatever's in the back, uh, which could be anything really. Uh, his team has been very weak to Machamp. No, 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 Machamp. Been very weak to Reggie Steel with Clefable and Cresselia, so I'm expecting a fighter in the back like Machamp, or Toxicroak, or whatever, just a fighter, but it's Giratina, and you love it. This is amazing. Look at look at this damage, look at this damage. Boom, that's insane. Bisharp, it's just the ultimate Giratina answer, and I love him, I love him for it, <laughs> even though it's so glossy. There we go, that's a good game. All right, Zard lead. Oh, this is a... We went positive in that set. This is a bonus battle. It's the final battle. Zard lead. I... The game before this, by the way, which I didn't show, I ran to I ran to a Zard lead, and it was double charm. I think every time you see Zard lead in open ultra, it's usually double charm. And, well, double charm versus line, of course, is not good. I got absolutely obliterated, which is why I didn't show the game, because it's it was a really boring game. Uh, I just got destroyed. But uh, just so you know... I expected double charm here as well. That's why I shielded the first blast burn. And now he swapped into a charmer. But it's not actually a charmer. He, he fooled me. It's a snarl bull. So I decided to take the crunch on my bear sharp. That's a good uh, swap. I'm expecting another charmer in the back. Which is... Or I'm expecting a real charmer in the back. This is of course a fake charmer. Uh, supposed to like lure out a steel. And then close combat. Uh, but I'm expecting a real charmer in the back. Like Tokis or Grafable. That's why I want to save my obstagoon uh, because i can gunk shot in the in the late game if i get shields down uh he takes out my uh op or my bishop right there with a close combat it's fine with me i just wanna i just wanna take out this bull but he shields and this is so good for me this is so good for me because uh since he shielded he's now shields down and if it's like tokus in the back i can gunk shot it uh Probably, if I get a little bit of energy advantage. So what I'm gonna do right here is the same thing I did early in the game. It's four more snarls for a crunch. I'm gonna try to catch it on my Obstagoon, and I do. That's a really, 
pretty nice catch right there that's the second second crunch catch catch this game uh brings in the toe kiss can i get to the gunk shot come on come on obstacle get there oh it's looking very close i one counter away that's very unfortunate and that will seal the deal right there he still has uh, the charizard in the back if i would have hit that gunk I would have been in a really good spot actually i would have been able to get to the future side first the charizard and take him out but it was such a close game even with such a bad lead still made it or such a bad team comp versus me still made it pretty close because of those two catches so that was nice so yeah b sharp b sharp was kind of decent uh i definitely made some big misplays i really didn't know how to use it at the beginning uh, maybe the team comp I used wasn't the best overall I think Bisharp does have a lot of play but you have to make sure you support it with some good uh, good coverage mods uh, but it's pretty hard to to line it up sometimes so I wouldn't necessarily recommend building a Bisharp but if you want some fun if you want to destroy some Cresselias and Giratinas definitely something I would re recommend because it is a very fun Pokemon to use anyway thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one